Okay, the finance guru, Dan Geltrude, is with us. And, Guru, I saw a recent report that stated 57% of millennials claim they're unlikely to ever invest in the stock market. Why is that, Guru? Well, millennials are a different kind of group, aren't they? I mean, generally speaking, uh, they, they want to avoid debt. They're more along the lines of building savings, and they're somewhat risk-adverse. And they're also more for life experiences. Uh, they, they will spend their money on a vacation as opposed to putting it into the stock market. And listen, maybe they have it right. I, I don't know. Uh, they're, they're not motivated to buy homes. They seem to be happy to pay rent. And when you take a look at what happened in the market in 2008 and what their parents went through, there is a distrust of a lot of the establishment, including the government, which perhaps you can't, you can't blame them for. And let's also put on top of that that the way millennials live their life, they don't have a lot of discretionary funds to be able to free up for the market. So if you don't have extra funds to put into the market, it's certainly not something that you can do. But it's interesting that this poll says that they will never, 57%, never think they're going to invest in the stock market. Another, which is, which is incredible, and I'm not sure that number's right, because as they get older and mature, perhaps they're going to change their minds. But one of the big challenges that millennials have is that there is more temptation than ever for impulse buying and just the impulse to do things based upon they're always on their phone with all these apps. Everything is instantaneous. If you see an advertisement or you get an idea that you want something, you could make it happen almost instantaneously. So millennials really need to be very disciplined in how they spend their money. And, and we also see that with the new tax law king, particularly in high tax states, home ownership is not such a friendly thing to do. So their attitude towards just paying rent is is somewhat justified, at least in some parts of the country. And again, what happened in 2008, changes in the tax law, and uh, distrust of government, distrust of the establishment, distrust of the markets, all those things are not lost on them, and they are living their lives accordingly.